the one thing I did pick up out of that, that I prepared myself for before I ever went to a wrestling school was like, they were treating it like it was the military and I have military and army in my family. So we had sort of a militant, we were, we're all jokers in the house, but we had a militant energy in the house. You get up in the morning, you make sure everybody in the house has fucking coffee and eggs. Uh, you keep it positive in the morning and, um, you know, you train hard and, you know, if your mother or your grandmother happens to cook dinner, uh, no one's asking you to get up after, but you get your ass in the kitchen, you clean the dishes for her. And like, that was just how I grew up. So like, I kind of came into a wrestling school trying to understand before I got there, the etiquette and the commitment that they were going to be looking for. Like, I'll never forget that one time it was on an episode where Triple H walked in and he just told people the way it was going to fucking be. Um, and he basically, I think his go home line by the end of the segment was don't waste our fucking time. And he was having them take bumps and he was showing them the sort of level and commitment and intensity for selling shots and stuff like that. And that resonated with me into my twenties because I was very young when that was released. I, I was in my, I, that was a teenager that resonated with me. It's like, they don't fuck around at these schools. So there's a million people that are going to come in. Very few are going to make it. If you want to be one of those people, you need to have 110% commitment every day. It doesn't matter what's going on in your life. If you're sick or you're fucking hurt or whatever, like there's people that will replace you. Um, and you know, you, you need to be next to perfect in order to kind of get ahead. And, uh, I just did my best to commit into that direction every time I went in. 